Isekai. The Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage, Chapter 25, Sneering. The Chrysanthemum Banquet was held in Yanting, which was located near the Kin Ranking Prince's residence, and it was the hall where the founding emperor and empress personally set it up. Thus the former mansion was exquisitely pruned and covered several acres with magnificent buildings. If it wasn't that it was far away from the city, the emperor and empress would want to transform it into part of the palace. With the mountains on one side and water on the other, it was indeed a good place to enjoy the scenery. In particular, in every tenth lunar month, different types of chrysanthemums would bloom and because the place managed well and had the possession of different chrysanthemum seeds, when they bloom, the entire place can be considered as very elegant. The carriage would take about one shishin, one shishin equals two hours. From Shen residence and Yen Ting, so snacks would be prepared so that one would not feel hungry. Gu Yu opened the basket that Gu Yi Momo brought over and asked Shen Miao. Young lady better eat something. The journey is long and one will have strength if there is something to eat. Shen Miao looked at the things in the basket. Cold goat geese, scallion rolls, spicy and oily drumsticks. At first glance, it would make one's mouth water as it was colorful and savory. Unfortunately, the flavor of these things was just too heavy. Like the cold cheese and spicy and oily drumsticks were easy to smudge the lip rouge, and if one was not careful, it would be easy to make one's clothes dirty. Gooey Momo put in utmost care when preparing this food. The courtyard battle between females, was about some tricks that were done in the dark to make others stumble. But Shen Miao was previously in the inner palace of Ming Chi, and her opponents were the concubines who were fighting for favor thus, the stakes were much higher. These kinds of tricks were nothing at all. She shook her head and let Gu Yu cover the box up and spoke to Jing's, no need. Jing's has some. Jing's carefully took out a small cloth bag from behind that held small and exquisite pastries. Shen Miao did not trust the kitchens in Shen residence and let Jing's bribe the steward to help her buy some snacks from outside. The steward only thought that Jing's was greedy and did not add anything to the food. That steward was only somewhat surprised that Jing's, a maid, would be willing to buy snacks from Guang Fu Zai. Guang Fu Zai was one of the best pastry shops in the Ding capital, that even the concubines in the palace loved to eat it. In Shen Miao's previous life, she was not very interested in Guang Fu Zai's snacks but, Wan Yu loved them so much that she would not be happy if she did not eat them for a day. At this moment, the snacks were only about the size of Shen Miao's finger and were made to look like flowers which were very cute and adorable. Shen Miao distributed some to Gu Yu, and Gings to eat. Both maids initially did refuse but after Shen Miao's insistence, they were unable to continue refusing, and ate a mouthful before saying in surprise, young lady. This snack is delicious. Shin Miao smiled. No matter how delicious can the snacks may be, they only need to be made elaborately, and cutely as females would always like good looking things. When Wan Yu had the marriage alliance, she spends a lot of money to buy Wang Fu Zai's pastry master as she hopes that Wan Yu was able to eat her favorite snacks when she was in the bitter cold country of Zhong Nu. Who would know? Who would know that in the middle of the journey Wan Yu perish, and she was unable to even see her body? Shen Miao closed her eyes. Wan Yu's marriage alliance was instigated by Mai Furen, and colluded with Chen Rizayu's family but was ordered by Fu Zayu Yi. In this lifetime, not one of these people should think about running away. She wants these people who cause Wan Yu's death to pay back hundreds and thousands of times. Gu Yu was eating the snacks in relish when she looked up, and saw Shen Miao's cold, 
and Chili look as if it was a noble lady in a high position having a killing intent. At that moment, Gu Yu seemed to have seen Shin Xin's shadow. Shin Xin was someone who had killed others, and seen bloodshed on the battlefield thus, when he became angry, the ferocious came from his bones. At this moment the look in Shen Miao's eyes was the same as Shen Xin's. She almost choked on a snack, and had to swallow it down strenuously before asking carefully, is young lady uncomfortable anywhere? No. Shin Miao's eyes drooped, was thinking about some things. Fu Zayu Yi would also be present in today's chrysanthemum banquet. Not only Fu Zayu Yi, but there would also be several brothers of Fu Zayu Yi would be present. There were currently nine princes with each their own merits, thus each of them had their camp. But, Fu Zayu Yi had the most harmless appearance and had a slightly better relationship with the crown prince's fraction, who knew that at the end, the crown prince was ousted, and Fu Zayu Yi was the heir apparent. She did not intend to help the crown prince as the imperial family of Ming Chi was the most truthless. They see all those vessel families whose ancestors helped to found the empire as old dogs. It was these dogs who had to help them to hunt down the rabbit but, when the rabbit was in the bag, they were worried that their dogs would kill them so, they drain the dogs to the last drop of blood before killing, and cooking them. The world was heartless. The heir to the throne was not just. So, on what basis was there to require the loyalty of everyone? Why not watch how a dog would bite another dog? Shen Miao's lips slightly hooked up. Several noble families had arrived at Yan Dang. Although today's academy examinations would not differentiate males from females, the banquet divided the guests by female, and male seats. At the male seats, many youths, and their father quickly greeted one another as it was natural to build up relationships between families to support one another. As these youths would one day take over their fathers to support the entire family, more friends were always beneficial. The female side would not frequently meet up as the males thus, the women often gossip among themselves and the young ladies would have their fixed group of friends. As they would chat together every three to five days, they were both nervous, and looking forward to the chrysanthemum banquet. They would also occasionally look up, and glance across the area to see one's admired youth. Yi Pei Lan fiddled with some small flowers as she said, do you all have confidence in the academy examinations today? I do not have. The female beside her smiled, there are so many people, and I am mediocre at best thus I am really scared. I only help that later I would not be drawn out or chosen in a challenge by anyone. I don't seek to stand out, and only not to make a fool of myself. Yi Pei Lan's mouth twitched, one must at least try, as everyone knows, His Highness Prince Ding would also be present and your admired young master Li would also be here. The young master of the Li family's language skills are exceptionally outstanding, and would come on the stage. Shouldn't you take this opportunity to perform well? The young female pushed Yi Pei Lan as her face revealed some shyness. Don't say nonsense. Zhang Zhezhuan heard what was said, and smiled, exactly, Bei Wei. You must not be afraid. If one were to say about making a fool of oneself, there would still be the Shen family's number five to be at the end of the spectrum. Seeing that, you are much better than her. Precisely. Yi Pei Lan also smiled in amusement, during the yearly academy examinations, that fifth Shen would be responsible for provoking laughter and it is tough for her to still come every year. When I think about how she is going to show off her work this year, I would want to laugh out. Don't know what she would wear again. Would it be like last year's bright red dress with a purple gold hairpin? Several young females started giggling. Enough already. Feng and Ning suddenly opens her mouth, 
What's so funny about it? Yi Pei Lan was surprised for a moment before she said, Feng and Ning, you seemed very strange recently. Why are you so good with that fool? Feng and Ning had a look of anger and was about to speak when she heard someone speaking from the other side. The Furens of Shen family have arrived. 